Hey guys, it's update time on our nutrient test slash soil versus fracky slash deep water culture pepper experiment. And it's been a little while since I've done an update and I apologize, I'm sitting on a ton of footage right now. It's our super busy time of the year with harvest and everything else that we have going on. I promise everything will be coming out along with more wine videos. It's just, I need a weekend where I can actually sit down and edit and put everything together. But what we have looking, what we're looking at here is the general hydroponics uh, three part uh, nutrient. And we, we've already harvested this pepper or this plant a couple times. As you can see, there are a ton of peppers. Still uh, good heat, not sure what they are. Pretty, pretty convinced they're a habanero cross for something, but they're still pretty wicked hot. And uh, this little bugger's been producing pretty well. Moving on, we have our Soul Brand Innovation. Uh, this thing, like we talked about in the other video, has died, pretty much been brown and nothing left and I've been able to bring it back, but it's just never really grown. I've harvested a few peppers off of it. There are a few more on it, but uh, just, you know, never really panned out. The third one we have, which we harvested about a week ago, is the general hydro or i'm sorry the uh urban hydroponics that we picked up off of amazon that's been our kind of our go-to uh this plant's been very healthy uh tons of peppers and no complaints ph set it forget it like always on to our little bucket we have our general hydroponic again uh i harvested this last week too a ton of peppers and it's looking good on to our soul brand little guy dad Nothing I can do to bring it back. Uh, I got one or two peppers off of it, but after the fourth time of it about going down, the, the pH was always good. The water was nice and cool. I just, I, I can't figure out what happened with it, but yeah. And then on to our urban hydroponics. Uh, harvest, harvested this about a week ago. Good looking peppers. Uh, plants about the same size, you know, for the container as the general hydroponics, but uh, set it and forget it. Uh, over to our potted plants. Um, been getting just tremendous amount of peppers off of these. So these are three clones taken off the same plant. Look how gnarly that one looks. But uh, cuttings taken off three plants and I probably, I mean, I, I'll show you a bucket here, but I get a little bucket maybe once every week, week and a half off of that. Onto our Black Magic Hydroponics plant. This thing has exploded also. There's probably 50 peppers on here minimum of our chocolate bootla. And it's taken a little while, but they've, I have a few that are starting to ripen up. They're more of a peachish color right now. I'm hoping that they transition to the chocolate. Uh, like I said, we got these from a very trusted source, so I have no reason to worry about these not being chocolate bootla. But as, like I said, you can see there's peppers all over. Um, just on to another pot of plant of the one with the three or of the three clones taken tons of peppers on it probably harvest these again tomorrow um, some of them the bottoms aren't all the way changed and then we're to our apocalyptic scorpion this thing is hot I haven't eaten a whole one yet but I just stuck a knife into it and licked the knife and oh my gosh it was it was crazy but getting tons of peppers off of these just quite a few ripen already and a lot more to go. And then on to our Black Magic hydroponic felt bag with our peach uh, peach ghost pepper. Haven't had anything turn yet, but these peppers are looking really good. Nice and bumpy, nice and hot, nice and long. And really curious to see how hot these get. So that's about it for it. Or that's about it for this one. Uh, I'll probably do maybe one more update on this as it's probably getting pretty repetitive hearing me talk about the different plants and whatnot but I just wanted to cover this series with you and it's given me a lot of motivation and ideas to come up and work on over the winter for what I want to do but we do have clones of these um, of the chocobula that's coming just like I said bear with me uh, let me get past the peak season and I'll have a few more videos out Thank you so much for all the positive feedback. I try to answer every question as soon as I get it. And we're getting a ton of subscribers and a lot of people saying thank you. And I, I really appreciate that because this is, uh, it's a lot of fun and 
you know, I get to share what I'm learning as I as I grow and learn, and it can help people with, uh, you know, avoid some of the mistakes that I found and made due to there not being that much information on how to grow stuff like this hydroponically that's not uh, marijuana related. So as always, like and subscribe, check out our other videos. Until next time, we'll catch you later.